Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is setting up a Svelte scaffold that's going to be using VIT as the module bundler. It's going to be using Tailwind for UIs, and we're also going to add in Daisy UI for kind of like a front-end UI framework. <clears throat> and the, the reason I'm doing this is because I just found it a kind of a, a little bit of a challenge, and I figured it's just a good thing to have out there. Uh, there's a, a couple little tricky things with VIT, Svelte, and Tailwind that I want to address. And if you guys have a, a better way to do it, love to see it, but let's just get right into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the, the VIT documentation. And I'm just going to show you that right here. We're going to go to uh, getting started and we're going to use their, just the regular templates. So we're going to use yarn. So the one of the prerequisites for this is going to be yarn. It's going to be in the description. We're going to fit create, make sure you're in the right directory to be able to, to create in your project. We're just going to do a Svelte scaffold example. That's going to be the project name. Follow the GUI. Use Svelte. We're just going to use regular Svelte for now. Already created it. It's super fast. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is just follow the instructions on the screen. Scaffold, right, and just do a code editor open. So code dot, if you have it in your path, it should open your code editor. If not, then you can open it from your code editor. I'm using VS Code, but you could be using anything really for opening the editor. And make sure you just open that folder that we just created. So with that, I'm going to open up the terminal in the editor because it's going to we're still going to need it. And we're going to do a yarn which will install all the packages. And what I like to do before I add any sort of dependencies, I like to make sure that everything is kind of working. So we're going to do a yarn dev to start the dev server. And I'm going to bring that up so for you to see here. So you can see that the dev server is working. Svelte is working. Hooray. But what we haven't done yet is set up Tailwind and Daisy UI. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up Tailwind. And with that, I'm going to get right into Tailwind. So I'm going to be using the Tailwind setup instructions since there aren't any for uh, Svelte. I'm actually going to be using Vue 3 because they're very similar. There's only one little change that I'll be explaining in this video. So we're going to just take in the npm install and we're going to stop the server with a control C and do an npm install of Tailwind. Once we do that, we're going to take the next thing here, which is an init. We're going to use mpx init. And what that will do is load a couple different modules for us. We're going to ignore that for now. It'll load a tailwind.config.js file and a post.postcss.config.js file. And it will also, I believe it creates everything for us, but there's also a couple, one more step that we have to do after that, which is without purge CSS, we have to create an index.css file in the source directory of our project and then actually declare it in our main.js file. This is view three, but it's exactly the same. This process is exactly the same for Svelte. So we're going to do that in our source directory. We're going to create a new file called index.css. And in that file, we're going to copy paste those Tailwind directives and we're going to save that file. And the next thing we have to do is declare that file inside of main.js. And main.js is on the same level. So the, the way we do it is exactly the same way we do it in Vue 3. So it's very simple. Just index.css. And that just shows that Tailwind is now being run and imported by Svelte. And all is good. But all is not good because I'll show you right here. If we run a yarn dev, there's going to be some problems. Boom, you get an error. And that error is very simple. It's not seeing the .js files of Tailwind and post CSS as a module type. You're going to need to put it as a common JS file so that it, it so that Vit knows what to do with it in Svelte. So let's do that right now. All we have to do again is go to our post CSS file.config and change it from .js to .cjs. Really simple, really easy fix. And you do the same thing with your tail, tailwind.config file, .cjs. And as you can see, nothing's really working right now. But if we cancel that out and do another yarn dev, we should see everything being fine and working just fine. So 
there might be a little positioning issue, but that positioning issue is actually great. That shows us that Svelte is seeing Tailwind and we're kind of the setup in the first process of this, uh, of this tutorial. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna actually make sure that it's seeing it. So we see this hello world here. What we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna just split the screen real quick and we're gonna go into app.svelte and we're just going to get this to be way, way smaller because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to change this hello world to text blue. And we just wanna make sure that we get the right formatting. Yep, we do. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna get rid of text red here so that there's no uh, cascading style issue. Okay, so there is an issue here. Uh, let's see here, text. Oh, right, text blue isn't a thing. I believe, yes, there we go. So perfect, you have to cho choose the gradient there or the, the type of blue and we got text blue, which means that Tailwind is now fully working within the Svelte app without too many issues, no errors in the code, nothing, we're good to go there. The next step is getting Daisy UI working. So with Daisy UI, it's even easier than you could possibly imagine. Daisy UI is a really fantastic Tailwind CSS component framework and makes scaffolding side projects so much better. Um, it's a fantastic framework, so let's get right into it. All we have to do is an npm install Daisy UI. We're actually using Yarn, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in Yarn, and Yarn add Daisy UI, super simple. And then the next thing, all we have to do there is add a require statement to our plugins inside of tailwindconfig.js. So let's open this back up and let's find our tailwind config file, which is right here. And you can see it's already created a plugins uh, attribute for us. All we have to do is actually add that require, save that. And theoretically, that's all we need to do to make Daisy UI work as long as you have Tailwind already installed. And to test this, all we have to do is go in, let's grab like, a, let's grab a button. The buttons are really easy to implement. And let's do something like a primary button over here. You just have to take that code, go into your app.svelte file. I'm going to remove everything from the HTML. Just add, leave the button in there, press save open up that and oh right we stopped the server so we got to start the server again component library was loaded now we just have to wait for the first load the first load takes a little bit of time uh, because it's loading all of the tailwind stuff tailwind is not optimized or at least not that i know of not optimized yet fully for svelte and vit but after the first load, the, the other saves and loads are super fast. That's the great thing about it. And as you can see here, it did load that framework because we see the button. We have all the animations on the button. We have the hover effects, everything done. We didn't have to do any of that. That's the power of a framework like Daisy UI com combined with Svelte and obviously, or Daisy UI combined with Tailwind. Obviously you can kind of use Tailwind as you want inter as you want, you can, you know, I'm pretty sure we can increase the width here if we really wanted to or decrease, I guess, in that case. Anyway, so you can you can use them interchangeably and that's it. You're good to go. You kind of have a project set up fully with Svelte, Tailwind, Daisy UI, and Vit as your module manager. Thank you.